Hello, this is Stefan from the Mode3D Tech team. In today's quick tutorial, we'll take a quick look at how to use Katia or Delmia with your Morvis VR Bridge. Assuming you have downloaded and installed the Morvis VR Bridge software to your PC successfully, launch the Morvis Server Control. Notice the little Morvis icon right next to your system time. Right-click it to reveal the context menu. In the context menu, click Morvis Application Enabler. In here, we need to add your Katia installation. To identify your Katia installation, it is most easy to simply right-click the Katia shortcut, open its properties and say Open Path. Then, simply copy that path and add it in the Morvis Application Enabler. The correct .exe file for Katia is named cnext.exe. Now that we have added Katia into the Enabler, the last thing we need to do is to enable it. Click Save and Close. Now you are good to go for VR presentation. Launch the Morbus Client and then launch your Katia. Once Katia has loaded, simply load your model. Lastly, click on View and enable the Perspective View mode. Now you are good to go to start working in VR. Simply use the controller to drag around and view your item in full VR mode. Additionally, you can now set the base units in that you work with. I will now go for centimeter scale. So this suspension thing is bigger by a factor of 10. I can now view all the details inside of my construction very, very nicely and take a good look around with full feature tracking and different other options like, for instance, taking a measurement in here from here there, which is now off by a factor of 10, of course. I can also hide geometry that I don't want. I can uh, save points of interest on the model. And then simply go back to the different point of interest that I saved before. Of course, all changes I do inside of Katia are mirrored in real time. For instance, going for a different view mode or rotation.
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us via email. We are always available on support at mo3d.com. Bye for now.